We had another golf cart follow us home the other day. She was free. It's uh, gas powered. I feel compression in the motor when I turn the clutch down there. So I'm thinking what's uh, the two main reasons I've got so far I can see why this thing um, isn't running at the moment is, well, three main reasons. It needs battery. Um, pretty sure this is going to be real nasty. Oh, yeah. That's real yucky. So we're going to need to get rid of that. And worst case scenario would be go into the fuel pump, into the car, but... Uh, on that little Harley you saw at the beginning there um, I didn't have to do anything to that 97 that looks like I wonder if this could be a 97 I haven't seen anything else yet but anyways I think it's gonna be pretty cool this was off so that's that always makes you wonder you know, did a, I'm hoping maybe the uh, bolts just came off, the nuts or something rattled loose. But anyways, figured get a good look at it. Well, before I clean it. Inside here, see if I'm trying to get a grab on it, uh, but it's a battery hold down. Uh, you'll see here in a minute, hopefully. I'm not surprised. I found some weird stuff in gas tanks. I found a uh, column shifter, the lever in a gas tank in a 350 Warrior down in Mexico. But, yeah, so that's where that went. So I figured we'll at least um, tap the key very quickly. I just want to see what we got. So, and then I'm going to disconnect that fuel line from the carburetor and we'll just go ahead and turn it over and make sure we get as much of the yuck out of there. And then I'll mix a gallon or two of some pre-mix. Or no, this doesn't need pre-mix because it's got this oiling system. I'll probably still mix a, like a gallon of pre-mix just to make sure the oiling system's working. Um, or we should actually probably do a, oh, there we go.
That sounds not strong. Hmm. Well, let's lube up this motor. Let's see what we got. Let's pull the plug. Okay, so I uh let's see here. Oh, that was loose. Okay. And did the uh, fuel. That's drier than of our problem uh, it's clogged so we're gonna get some uh, compressed air and uh, we'll see what happens there so we got we blew through it with the air but it sounds like it's not oh yeah I don't know if you can see that that <laughs> things like totally ruptured so let's go ahead and get that out of there see what else we can find out I don't know why. I don't know why I wasn't working. Gosh darn, how long's this poor thing been sitting? Look at that snake. Well, let's go make a new one. Okay, so we got a a new pickup tube, temporary, I should say. The filter was so bad, or the original one in there. We couldn't even reuse it, so I just have like a nut zip tied to the end of the new pickup tube, and we're going to rely on the filter that we have for the moment. definitely have carb issues but hey we know it's worth fixing so I think that's a good start so um, we will pick up probably tomorrow or the next day we'll see and uh, I'll pick up a new belt and uh, we'll pull the carb off together and see how gnarly that is and I might pick up an electric fuel pump. That just kind of seems simple. But we need to see, like I don't know why it was off. So, what do we got down here? Well, at least the studs are there. From what I can see on the piston, doesn't look too bad either. So, you can see it's been Welded back there, that's ugly. But we'll get a good belt for it. So, update. We're getting ready to try to pull this off before the sun goes down. This, the carb. And uh, I took the air cleaner off. Oops. And there's no filter or anything in there. Nice. Taking the uh, generator starter off to gain access to that nut it was just impossible so it ought to be interesting to see what's inside that carburetor I don't know about you guys but I know I am excited to see what's in there well it's not as bad as I was expecting I was literally expecting it to be like rotten but uh, let's see is the floaty well the float had to be or the needle had to be moving 
I think the needle's moving. There was fluid in there. I don't know. She's gonna get a clean in tomorrow though. We'll put that in the ultrasonic cleaner. We'll get it up to temperature. We'll take it apart. I'll show you what I do for that too. And uh, it, it should be a runner. So I'd like to have it running tomorrow. Okay, it's day two and I made it to town. I was able to get almost everything I wanted to get. I wasn't able to find a drive belt. Uh, the local auto parts didn't have one, so I figured it'd probably be easier to check online. Um, I was able to get a belt for the starter generator, slightly smaller and slightly narrower, which I think is going to fit better into the pulley. And I went with another diaphragm pump it was easy um, it was I think like 29 bucks it wasn't cheap though could have probably got it a lot cheaper online but wanted to get to it today got a lot of projects so another inline filter Let's see. Oops. and we picked up some tire slime for this rear tire we're gonna see if we can try to get it to work for a while and uh, Napa was able to find me a filter we, just by taking measurements it'll be in tomorrow so I'll pick that up too the next time I need to go to town so that being said I've got the ultrasonic cleaner warming up and we will get started let's hopefully maybe finish this thing up at least good enough for a drive tonight would be pretty fun so let's get to it well, that'll work just fine a bunch of popping green crap goes everywhere Okay, see what it looks like. Definitely warm. Hot, very hot. Not bad. A little air. And just look pretty, pretty nice. Didn't expect much out of this. It's, uh, yep, that'll clean up nice. What happened with this? That is still just toast. something new. Yeah, that'll work. Definitely cleaner. Let's move on to the next project. Well, you want to hear what it sounds like? 
way. Well, let's try it out. I put air in the tire. Got a, God, this thing's funky. Steering wheel, so high up there. Weird. Anyways, let's go for a ride. Kind of a hard spot. Let's try that again.